What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video for you. What's going on? I am Lockout Man, and I am here for the new jacks, the new hires, the new people that's coming into the industry that finds my channel and my content worth some value to listen to. If that's the case, thank you very much. But why don't you guys do me a favor and hit that like button? It's free. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. What's going on, y'all? I am Lockout Men, and this is the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Well, I got an email the other day. Uh, we're just going to call him Jay. Not 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 the J that you may know, but this is just the letter J, right? And um, he sent me an email. I wanted I wanted to bring him on so we can uh, talk a little bit, but it was like, no, nah, I, I I just wanted uh, I just want your opinion or advice. Thank you very much. If you guys are interested in opinions or advice. Hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you could just do it here in the comments below. Let me guys let let me let me know if you're inter interested in uh in in anything that I may be able to help you out with. All right, the uh, the email reads Hey, thank you for what you do. Oh, well, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, I appreciate you guys that that find myself and the content that I bring, you know, a little value to you guys. Thank you. I do appreciate that. It goes on to say, I am interested in Prime, Maverick, Rail, and Valhara. But there are some negative things I see with the comments on your YouTube. 12,500. If you don't, uh, 12,500 if you don't pass. Huh. What you, I wonder what you mean by that. But I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and continue. He says that I am talking to Kim Vahara. Madden name of the daughter. Okay. All right. Tomorrow at nine o'clock a.m. I'm I'm assuming he already talked to her. Um. What are the questions I should ask as a new student? Well, let me stop right there. Um, I mean, if you if if you was to follow me, um. You you would probably know the questions that I that I ask every recruiter. Um, you know the the questions like now like before I had a set questions. All right, I did start off with you know like a book of questions, but then later down the line or uh, later you know in later seasons, it just became more of a conversation. Than just asking questions. The if you want to know the basic questions, what's the home term policy? What lanes that they run? Um, what kind of trucks y'all be getting into? Are the trucks are the trucks? What are the trucks equipped with? Is it equipped with a uh, with an APU? Is it equipped with uh, you know the the computer? Um, it does it as a driver facing camera or or what? Um, and then the all magical question is how much you get paid per mile. You know, uh, the big three is going to always be miles, money, and home time. That that that's the big three, right there. Miles, money, and home time. But that's the big three for veterans. And for drivers that got a little bit more than maybe about a year, about a year, year or two in. Now, for a student, I, jeez, I, I don't know. I mean, it depends on if you're 
coming straight out of school or are you going to the truck driving or the truck company school? Then those are going to be like a, a different set of questions. Like how long is the schooling? Um, you know, you might want to know how many uh, that's going to be, you know, how many is in the uh, training program at a time. Because if it's more than if if it's like thirty or forty or whatever the case may be, you you might not get that one on one time that you that you may get if you was to go to a regular truck driving school, and 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 there you you may get one on one, all right, but it won't be as much as. You know, you going to a trucking company, truck driving school, you know, 30, 30, uh, 30 people coming in to learn how to drive a truck versus maybe 10, uh, a handful to 10. So, I mean, those are uh, a different set of questions. Um, again, you know, d d you you're going to want to know. Um, those two particular points is how many people is in the the class what you the to I guess to make sure that you would get the adequate training that's uh that's available to you to um to you know to get your CDL. All right. Uh let's get back at it. It's he says, um, I should ask. Uh, okay, let's get back. Um, he says, if I have a list, can you copy and paste me the questions? That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have a list. <laughs> you know, like I said, when I start when I started this thing years ago, I used to have a list, but now is more of you know more of a conversation piece than anything you know what i would say is don't let the recruiter sell you into coming to drive for it all right still get your questions in and you know and and try to make you know try to make it Make it work in your, you know, make it work for you instead of working for the recruiter. Because the recruiter's job is just to get you in the seat. That's what the recruiter's job is. As soon as they get you in the seat, their job is done. And then you'll get in the seat and then you'll find out that, hey, I wish I would have asked this question because I didn't know this was going to happen to me. So go back uh, maybe go back into seasons one and two where I did have a list of questions uh, that I would ask the recruiters and maybe you can, you know, jot down a few that I asked uh, in those two seasons. All right. All right. Let's finish up this email. I'll let you know what I find out. Uh, that's, well, here, let me know. We'll find out with uh, Vahara. My big, now here's his things. He says, my big must-haves, I want to take a mini vacation every six to eight weeks for five to seven days. I would like to make runs to California or the West Coast or the southern or the southwestern part of the 48. If you have an inside track please let me know in return what can i do f to help you you let me know and i'll return the favor well thank you very much brother man uh what you can do is uh give me some coffee <laughs> give me some coffee you know my cash app is lockout uh dollar sign lockout man uh, you can give me some coffee, bro. Uh, that, that's all I want, you know, and that and it will be appreciative. Thank you for the support. Um, that's what you want. That's what you, you know, if that's what you want, you want to take a mini vacation those many days. 
you definitely going to have to do your due diligence in defining a company that will accommodate what you want. Now, let me let me stress this. Not all companies is going to be able to accommodate you in that. Let's say, for example, if you get with a company that don't run the rest coast, then it's going to be hard for them to get you over to the West Coast if they don't run freight that way. So that's number one. Number one, you're going to need to know if they run the West Coast and how often do they run the West Coast? Because if they run the West Coast often, then you'll be able to put in a request and say, hey, I, you know, I want to go over to the West Coast for my home time or whatever, whatever, and just let them know how many, how many days off that you're going to take now if you're going to take uh if you're going to take like uh like five to seven days off then the company is going to probably re require you to work about a couple of months because every week you accumulate one day off and that sucks though quiet as a cap but uh you're going to accumulate one day off <laughs> For every seven days, you get one day off. So you're going to, if you want like five to seven days off, then you definitely going to have to work uh, at least about two, two and a half months to, to get that. All right. So you, you'll save up your money because once you take those days off, you're not going to get paid for the following week. So you definitely going to need to save your money. <laughs> um but you over here talking about you want to take a mini vacation every six to eight weeks. So, yeah, you and you you're gonna you're gonna need to work those six to eight weeks in order to get that many days off. Um, again, you do your due diligence and find a company that's going to run to that to that side of the map. All right. That's that's for starters. So uh, if a company says that they do and then you find out that they don't, then it's time to move on to the next and make sure that the next one says what they mean. Because a, a recorder could turn around and say, oh, well, yeah, 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 we. We, we could get you to California. We could get you to California. And then when you get in there and you find out that you got to put in uh, two, three weeks uh, request for it. And then by the time it comes around, you, you, you know, you're heading in the opposite direction instead of heading in the direction that you wanted your your uh, your time in. <laughs> so definitely find out and make sure that the company says what they going to do all right and for starters you got to make sure that they run the freight in and out of california all right all right well i appreciate the email thank you very much if you guys want to send me an email and ask me my thoughts questions uh opinions or advice feel 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 free to do so Hit me up in the email. That's lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. I really do appreciate it. And again, brother man, thank you for the support, Jay. Uh, my cash app is dollar sign, lockout man. All right. All right. Whenever you're ready to come on, bro, just let me know. And uh we'll we'll set it up and uh we'll get you uh get you talking. You take it easy. And you guys out there, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. Leave your comments and all that other good stuff in the comments below. If you like this channel for what it is, leave me a like, man. The like button, it works, it helps, it's free, and it does what it's supposed to do. So I appreciate that. You guys take it easy, and I will come at you with another video. Y'all take it easy. Peace.